Last few weeks of the season, uh, late winter and early spring, I like to get out and target chub. They're usually in good condition and at peak weight. My preferred uh, method of targeting chub uh, is usually the roving approach on small rivers and that involves a lot of link ledgering and moving between a number of swims uh, within the day and just trying to cover as much water as I can. Um, I have, however, uh, done some fishing on the larger rivers such as the Thames and the mid-range rivers such as the Avon um, and use different approaches to suit those types of rivers. As it gets colder and, and a lot of the weed in the rivers dies down, there becomes fewer places for the chub to actually hide and, and seek refuge. Um, so overhanging trees and rafts are a great place to target the chub in the winter and there usually tends to be a few under these features. Just holding the line uh, to fill for bites. It's a great way of fishing. Go. Put the little taps then. Here we go, boy. Really give it some stick. Get pull that chum out of those snags. Not the biggest chub in the world, but a beautiful Avon chub caught on Link Ledger Tactics. Fantastic. We took the, the roving approach, um, as I mentioned, covering as much water as we possibly could creeping into idyllic looking swims, those swims that scream chub, where you've got overhanging trees and rafts and you can just picture them sitting under these features um, as, as a form of cover. And just swinging baits underneath into these lightly looking areas and hoping that there's a chub or two there. Chub are, are extremely greedy fish and you can catch them on pretty much anything. Uh, some of the stories I've heard of what chub have been caught on um, is simply mind-blowing, but I stick to the sort of standard baits in winter when there's a bit of colour and I want a bit of smell on the bait. I think you can't go wrong with a, a real stinky cheese paste. Um, I like to keep all the cheese left over from Christmas and freeze it and then make a cheese paste, um, you know, come time to fish for the chub. Um, also like a lobworm. Caught many good chub on lobworm from the Lee and, and, and various other venues and you know that's another great bait for chub. And uh, lastly I'll never leave home without some bread. It's got that visual attraction with bread, um, you know it really shows up in the water. One of my favourite ways to, to fish for the chub is by using link ledger setup and uh, it's a really simple setup. Uh, there's nothing special about it, and then it's, it's it's just perfect for swinging those baits underneath rafts and where the chub are hiding. Usually, like to flick it out into the main current, and then just put the rod up really high and just let that bait swing round. You, you can actually see it on the surface as it starts to come round in the current. Um, obviously, with the link ledger, uh, you want to adjust your weights accordingly, uh, depending on the flow on the river. Um, usually a couple of big swan shot is enough to just get that bait to swing round. Uh, but again, it depends on the river that you're actually fishing. Keep the rod up really high and swing that bait right round. And you see it on the surface. Just come up on the surface now. I can't swing it right round. So I put it right under that raft. There you go. Oh, oh, really. Really, give it some stick, get it out. 
Oh, got that off pull initially. Oh, out the danger zone. Fishing a swim like this is extremely difficult because of the because of the rushes. But this three and a half metre pole. you to uh, you can fish swims like this that you wouldn't normally be out to fish oh that was exciting they're not the largest in the world but what a great way to catch them Beautiful fish. So after catching a, a fish from a swim, it's always best to release them a bit further away from where you've caught them, uh, so they don't spook off any other fish that are there. Fishing in and around snags, uh, you obviously need a strong abrasion resistant line. I like to use Suplex, uh, usually in six to eight pounds. And again, depending on where I'm fishing. And the link ledger setup is, is you know, it's very simple. I just slide a swivel on to the main line and then I just have a float stop. And I usually fish uh, the six pound or eight pound line just straight through to a size six or even four hook. I'm a big fan of big hooks, especially for big chub. They've got big mouths, they're very greedy, and obviously the bait that I'm using, uh, cheese paste and bread, uh, you want a nice big hook so you can mould that around the shank. So after that fish, it's worth another, another cast, see if, he's got any, uh, see if he's got any other friends down there. I'm going to go try to go a little bit further this time out into the flow. So I'm just going to flick it out over there, right into the middle, but let it come all the way around. You're sort of fishing in accessible areas with the link ledger that you just can't get to if you're using a, a static feeder. So that's the beauty and it will settle where all the natural food settles from the current. I'm in. Get an old. Get that fish right out of there. It's not a big one, but it's a fish, and he's in the net. Lovely stuff. Not a big fish, but a beautiful Hampshire Raven chub, and you just can't beat your fishing for them with the, the touch link, link ledger. Um, it's just such an exciting way of fishing. but. This fish is in perfect nick, absolutely pristine. Let's get him back. Recently, I was very fortunate to land a PB chub. Um, I was fishing the Thames, which in contrast to the Avon is a, is a very different river. I was fishing different tactics to suit that river, a lot heavier, um, but I managed a chub of, of seven pounds and 10 ounces. Uh, as I mentioned, it was a PB. I was over the moon to catch it. To see a chub of those proportions was just immense. And to have caught it, uh, you know, really made my year. Um, it was a thin, perfect fish in, in great winter condition. And as I mentioned earlier, it was at, you know, peak weights, uh, very big weight and a very big frame on the fish as well. That chub was a, a great way to start my, 
my Chubb campaign and uh, what better way to round it off than to use my favourite tactics and methods for targeting Chubb on the beautiful Avon.